So a group of Plymouth Canton students just got back from a state competition and they came back with first place in the culinary category. They join us here in the studio. For those that don't know, what is the pro start? But first I want to introduce you. Charlie. And Sophie, thank you for joining us. So tell me about the, the, the competition. So pro start is an organization that helps young students really get into the uh, culinary industry. And they host these competitions like culinary and management. And in culinary, it's a lot of people ask us if it's like these shows that they see, but it's really just, you know, you have an hour in a confined space to make a three course meal and, you know, it gets judged and then whoever has the best play wins. Great state of so. Michigan. So, Sophie, how much pressure are you under? It's a, a good amount of pressure, but um, it's definitely manageable as like, it's this, I would say it's equivalent to being a student athlete. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot. But. So how much time do you have to prepare the food and you have like some framework to follow, right? They give you all the ingredients and... So actually we create our own menu that we uh, make and they give us an hour in this competition to make it. But we've been making this menu and perfecting it since like November. So we've really put in a lot of time for it. And what is the menu? So the appetizer is a uh, soy marinated tuna with a charred scallion mayonnaise, honey and miso beets with pickled apples and compressed uh, cucumber rosettes with um, a little sorrel garnish. Oh, wow, that, and they're cooking right now and I, yes. I, I can smell it. And <laughs> what was it like for you? Were you, were you under a lot of pressure when you, when you were there? Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but it's, like there's, it's a, amazing atmosphere to be under. The judges are really nice and they, all, they are very um, welcoming and it's, you are pressured, but you know what you have to do and you have to execute, so. Did you know that you were winning when you were like smelling yours and you could smell others nearby? You're like, something doesn't smell right. It's actually really cool because like there's someone right next to you and you can hear all the fans like cheering and everything and it's really cool, but you really don't know if you win until the very end because like you don't know how other teams got critiqued. So it's really just till the end. All right, Rod Maloney has the best assignment. Not that you all were bad, it's just he's doing the cooking and <laughs> yeah. that's, I'm gonna do the tasting. Closer to, closer to the food here. Yeah. And uh, thanks, Will. And uh, you know, we have a, a really good group here. Jameer Gardner, Mazen Hamed, and Carmen Lindsay are here doing the cooking. And I'm watching, there's some surgical precision uh, going on here. So, uh, Jameer, tell me about, you're doing the main dish here, right? Yeah. Okay, and, and so what is it that you've been using what look to be medical tools <laughs> putting this. What are, you, what are you working on right there? I'm plating the appetizer right now. Uh, so like Charlie said, uh, it's the tuna. The, the tuna. It, yeah, all that's fun stuff. Um, so we kind of work with lines and like how like this is a diagonal shape. Uh huh. And, um, I see. And and w that looks like a leaf uh, that you put on there. Is that edible over there? Yes, it is. Do you want to try some? Uh, I can uh, put some in your hand. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> 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 All right, Mazen. Now, now you're. That looks like steak, but that's tuna, right? It, it is tuna. Yes. Now, y have you eaten a lot of tuna? Because you've been working on this dish since November. Are you tiring oh. of tuna? You know, sometimes I think I'm eventually going to get tired of it, but it's, it's good stuff. Uh -huh. I, I tend to enjoy it. It wasn't exciting when you did this. Oh, for sure. Your yeah. Energy's high. Energy. And now, that's just for the competition. Did, when you went in, did you have any idea that winning was a possibility? I think it was, it was always in the back of our minds, like uh -huh. somewhere back there. But well, where, does, where does the confidence come from there when, when you're going to do something like that? We just go back to all those hours that we practiced. Uh -huh. the, let the practice take over? Exactly. Carmen, how proud were you when you won? <laughs> Extremely. Uh -huh. We did put a lot of hours in. Uh -huh. A lot. Did, did, the, did the heavy lifting, the hard work. You're working on some avocado there, right? Avocado mousse. Ah, all right. <laughs> well, this all looks spectacular. I'm looking forward to getting a shot at trying it. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.